Fresh Guest was a hit at the Just for Laughs Comedy Festival in July. He's working on his own series for Fox. Time Magazine spotlighted him as one of comedy's fastest rising talents. And uh, he's a fabulous comic, folks. I know you're going to love him. Please welcome Mitch Hedberg. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. This is all right. This is uh, five minutes of my act. All right, <laughs> all right. This shirt is dry clean only, which means it's dirty. <laughs> all right, you're not into me yet. You will be hopefully by five minutes. I got into an argument with a girlfriend inside of a tent. That's a bad place for an argument because then I tried to walk out and slam the flap. <laughs> <laughs> How are you supposed to express your anger in this situation? Zipper it up really quick. I bought a donut and they gave me a receipt for the donut. I don't need a receipt for a donut, man. I'll just give you the money, you give me the donut. End of transaction. We don't need to bring ink and paper into this. I just cannot imagine a scenario where I'd have to prove that I bought a donut. Uh, come on now, don't start, don't start liking me now. All right. I can't wait till this set is over because I have a roll of lifesavers in my pocket and pineapple is next. <laughs> All right. I don't own a cell phone or a pager. I just hang around everyone I know all the time. <laughs> Someone needs to get a hold of me, they just say Mitch. <laughs> and I say what? And turn my head slightly. <laughs> I like an escalator, man, because an escalator cannot break. It just becomes stairs. <laughs> there is no such sign that says escalator temporarily out of order. Only a sign that says, Escalator temporarily stares. <laughs> I saw a duck in downtown Boise, Idaho, and I knew he was lost because ducks ain't supposed to be downtown. Ain't nothing for him there. So I figured I'd give him some bread, help him out. So I went to a subway. I said, let me just have a bun only. But they wouldn't sell me just a bun. They said I had to have something on it. I guess the two halves ain't supposed to touch. <laughs> So I said, all right, put some lettuce on it then, something that's easy to dust off. So they sold me a lettuce sub. They said, that'll be $1.75. I said, it's for a duck. They said, all right, then it's free. See, I did not know that. Ducks eat for free at Subway. <laughs> Had I known that, I would have ordered a much larger sandwich. <laughs> Let me have the steak fajita sub but don't bother ringing it up. It's for a duck. There are six ducks out there right now. <laughs> I'm laughing my own things now. I have to jumpstart the laughs a little. I play golf, I'm not very good at golf. I never got a hole in one, but I did hit a guy. And that's way more satisfying. You're supposed to yell four, but I was too busy mumbling. There ain't no way that's gonna hit him. <laughs> I always hope the band backs me up, but tonight, no. <laughs> I always hope the band digs me, you know, because the band is cool. <laughs> All right, but they ain't laughing. <laughs> I play blackjack. I'm not addicted to gambling. I'm addicted to sitting in a semi-circle. Sometimes I see like a jar of jelly beans and it's a contest. If you guess how many jelly beans are in the jar, you win a car. Oh, come on, man. Let me just have some. <laughs> Let's make a compromise. <laughs> you guess how many I want. <laughs> I had a bag of Fritos once. They were Texas Grill Fritos. These Fritos had grill marks on them. Hell yeah, reminds me of summer when we used to fire up the barbecue 
and throw down on some Fritos. I can still see my dad with the apron on. You better flip that Frito, dad. You know how I like it. All right, thank you, that's it. so good that Oren wants to give you his real black film award. That's how good that was, man. Man, they didn't that laugh up front, though. That was a little great. weird. Great to have you here. I know it's only, what, your second time in Canada or second or third time? Oh, no, no, that's, no. Someone misinformed you. I've been here a few oh, times. I'm sorry, yeah. so we won't talk about your walk on on traders. <laughs> <laughs> I had a hard time getting in Canada for a while because uh, I was arrested when I was 18 for stealing stuff out of cars, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you did it more than once, but you were right, innocent. Right, right, exactly. Right. But I stole Tupperware, and then I, <laughs> and then, then I got arrested, and they wouldn't let me into Canada because I stole Tupperware. It was really silly. <laughs> Canada really likes leftovers. Especially when you could have just... <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad to hear we're being so well protected. <laughs> <laughs> we're all wearing black. I love that. Was the Tupperware for personal use, or? <laughs> it was for my ma, because Christmas was approaching. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, you got it, you're working on your new film, uh, Los Enchiladas. You've been working on that for a while. Yeah, oh, yeah. Tell the folks, uh, well, give them, uh, give them the plot of Los Enchiladas. Uh, it's about a Mexican restaurant in the Midwest, uh, Minnesota, where I grew up, you know, because Mexican there is not really Mexican food, you know? It's yeah. just like melted cheese over anything. Yeah. <laughs> So like, I, I just kind of parodied a Mexican restaurant. Right. A lot yeah. of people say, when will the film be out? I say, I don't know, man. You know, just come on over. I'll sell it to you. <laughs> because I, I don't know if it's going to make it to the theater. So you're doing distribution as well. Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm running yeah, around with good. the video tape. Good. I'm glad. And, and you just got a uh, development deal from Fox? Yeah, Fox gave me, you know, the, the paper, Toronto Sun, they like, they like printed how much money I made in the development deal. And it was a sweet development deal. But now everyone knows I got money. And then they told me where I'm working all week. So I'm scared. <laughs> People are going to be trying to roll me after the show. Well, uh, you might as well say it. I mean, how much did they give you? They gave you quite a bit of money. It was a record. Oh, yeah. They, they, well, they gave me half a million, but I won't see that. You know, I'll see like 10000 at their uh, commission. Because right. <laughs> I have a bad deal with my Now, manager. these guys gave you half a million bucks based on your performance. My assumption is they didn't actually meet you. No, hell no. no. <laughs> it, I had nothing to do with it, man. All, all I had to do was go up on stage and then go and drink somewhere. All right. <laughs> and my manager took care of everything else. Next thing you know, he said, you got some money. I said, all right. All right. What are you going to buy with it? Uh, I'm going to pay off some old debts, things I already bought. Yeah. <laughs> I got a lot of things like to pay Tupperware off. Like Tupperware, you owe people, stuff like that. Good. Great to have you here, Thanks, man. Mike. Great to have all you. Thanks, Mike. All right. Mr. Kirk.